Hey kids, welcome to another week of Horizon Kids at Home. We're so happy to be with you again. We hope you're doing well. And today we've got another really great topic. We're going to talk about how Jesus is our teacher. And when Jesus was on the earth, he went around teaching all the people. They followed him everywhere, actually, because he was such a good teacher. And he told lots of stories and he told lots of parables. And he always had a crowd wherever he went because people loved to listen to Jesus. And they just knew that every time they listened to him, they would learn something, that they would grow and that their lives would be made so much stronger because of what God was able to teach them through Jesus. And do you know what's really cool? A lot of the things that he taught are now in our Bible and we get to learn from those things today. So we don't even have to go back in time to learn what he taught us. We just have to open our Bible and learn all the things that he taught us back then. And we can learn from that all the time. Whenever we want to, we can learn from Jesus. All we have to do is open our Bible. And today we're going to learn about one of those things. It's a story that Jesus told. It's about a man who built his house on the rock. And what happened was, is he tells a story about the man who built his house on the sand and how when the floods came and when the rain came, that he found that his house didn't stay very strong. It actually collapsed. And then there was another man who built his house on the rock. And when the rain came and the wind came, that house stayed strong and was able to keep lasting for a long time because it was strong and it was built on a good foundation. Now, he was telling us this story because he was saying that we need to build our house on the truth. We need to build our house on a solid foundation that's on who God says we are and everything that he wants to teach us and not on something like sand, which is bad decisions or things that are going to take us in the wrong direction in life. It's kind of like, imagine one day I decide, you know what? I really want to live on the beach. I think I'm going to build a tent on the sand and I want to have a really great view of the water, really close, as close as possible to the water. So I put up my tent and I put it really close to the water and then I'm like, I have got the best living situation. I am going to live a really cool life here on the beach. And then I get in my tent when it comes to nighttime and I lie down ready to go to sleep. And then all of a sudden, I feel water coming inside the tent and I feel that it starts to rain and the winds are blowing it. Oh my goodness, my tent is not holding up very well and this is getting a little bit scary and I don't really like this anymore and I'm all wet, I'm soaked. And then my tent falls down. And then you know what happens? I go outside and I look up on the cliff at all the houses up there and I think, I wish I had a house up there quite far away from the beach, but at least they look like they're safe and the wind and the rain are blowing and they seem to be safe and warm in their homes and I'm here and I'm wet. It sounded like a good decision to live on the beach in a tent. It sounded like the funnest thing to do, but it wasn't the safest thing and it wasn't the strongest thing to do. But if you build your house up on the cliff, you actually, you stay strong, you stay warm you stay cozy inside and you get the best view of the beach. Actually better than if you lived on the beach. So how do we build our house on the rock? Well, it's about following Jesus. It's about listening to him. It's about reading the Bible and learning everything he wants to teach us. It's about doing what we know that he's asked us to do. You know, I would love to eat ice cream for breakfast, lunch and dinner every single day. I would love that, especially with like chocolate topping, ice magic things like that that would be amazing but do you think that'd be good for me i don't think so it wouldn't make me very healthy and i wouldn't grow up to be big and strong if i ate ice cream every day all of my life but you know what we eat good things because it makes us strong it's the same thing like the bible tells me that i've got to be good to my family and that when my brother makes me really angry and i really just want to yell at him that I don't yell at him because you know what? God loves my brother and he's asked me to be kind to my brother and I've got to show the love of God to my brother. So I can't yell at him and I can't be mean to him. Or when my friends at school start swearing and doing naughty things that I know are wrong and I really feel like it'd be fun to join in, I actually have to make a decision that says, I know that's more fun, but 
I've got to live strong and I've got to follow what Jesus said. And so I'm going to decide I'm going to say good words and not bad words. And I do remember when I was a kid, sometimes it was really hard to make the right decision when my friends were doing the wrong thing and I wanted to look cool and I wanted to have fun with them when what they were doing looked fun, even though it was the wrong decision, even though it was the wrong thing to do and I knew that. I had to make the right decision and I had to obey God and I had to stay strong in what I believed Jesus wanted me to do. Even though sometimes it meant that I didn't look cool, sometimes it meant that I missed out on what they were experiencing because I knew that following God is always the best possible decision you can ever make. When we follow God, that's when we make sure that we're strong and we're safe and that we get to live our best life because we're following Jesus and we're living the best things that he has for us. He has so many good things for us. All right, and now you're gonna go and you're gonna watch the video, read the Bible story, and you're gonna learn a bit more about how Jesus is our teacher and about building your house on the rock. And then after that, you're gonna come back and I'm gonna ask you some questions that you can talk about as a family. You can write them down in your notebook and then you get to learn even more today. So good, all right. See you in a sec.